All right, so here we are at my uh, current blog that I set up for this year's 30 day challenge. The uh, domain is children's sleepingbags.com, and uh, obviously, the keyword theme or the theme keyword for this particular blog is children's sleeping bags. So, let's set up an AdWords campaign, try and drive this traffic to the blog quicker to see if people will click on uh, some of the various uh, advertisements for my affiliate products here and uh, see if this niche is commercially viable. So the first thing we need to do is get to the Google AdWords sign up page. Now the way, one of the easiest ways to do it is just to go to Google and search for Google AdWords, funnily enough. Uh, click on the first link here which takes you through to adwords.google.com which you can always just type into your URL bar and get to this page as well. Now given this is going to show you how to set up a new account we have to hit the start now button and go through the setup process. So this will walk us through all the different steps of getting the account operational and then also creating a very first campaign. Now just walk through the steps here, it's all pretty straightforward. Uh, in this scenario I have an email address and password I already use for Google services like AdSense, Gmail and Google Reader. So I'm just going to click that first option there. And I'm also going to use that same account for all my Google services. You can choose to separate them if you want uh, and just go through whatever option works best for you. Now, I'm just going to sign in here through uh, children's sleeping bags at gmail.com. Put in my password and hit continue. So here we are at the currency preferences page. Now, this is where you simply choose what currency you wish to pay. Uh, this account with. Now given that I'm in Australia, I'm going to choose Australian dollars. You can always just choose your local currency, it won't make any difference at all. And simply hit the continue button. Okay, so now we are good to go. Now all we have to do is next step is to sign into your AdWords account. Now, if you're using a Gmail address or some other email address that's already been authenticated with Google, you'll be able to click on the link like I did just then to get into the Google interface that you're seeing here. However, if you're using an email address for the first time with Google, you will have received an email with a link in there that you have to click. That way, it just authenticates and authorizes that email address. So, in regards to the AdWords interface here, there's uh, two components to it. The right hand side is a learn more and uh, help and guide section that AdWords put together which is definitely worth watching. However, I'm just going to duck into the uh, create your first campaign button here and walk through this now. So the first thing I want to set up is the campaign settings. And this is just the settings of how our AdWords campaign is going to run. So the first campaign we want to target is children's sleeping bags. Now this is the main theme keyword I'm trying to target. Now, in regard to locations, you can choose all locations or specific locations. I'm actually going to target just North America for this. So if I scroll down here and hit United States and Canada, it's going to select the United States and Canada and also Australia too, which I can either turn off or leave. I'm going to save those um, settings so that way the ads are only going to be displayed in Australia, Canada and the United States. Uh, yes, I want to target English speaking customers because my blog and my site is going to be in English. Now the next section down here is networks and devices. We definitely want to choose and uh, eliminate some of the different elements. We want to turn off search partners. We want to turn off the content network for now. Uh, in a couple of days time I'm going to do a video specifically about the content network and, and how we can target that area. Uh, we'll leave desktop and laptop computers on and we want to turn off iPhones and other mobile devices. Reason being is from my testing I found that if someone's searching for children's sleeping bags on their iPhone and doing web browsing searches, it's very rare they're actually going to go through and make a purchase straight away. So we'll take that off. We don't want to dilute the numbers of our test. In regard to bidding options, I will select manual bidding for clicks because that way we can set this cost per click later on, which we'll do in a moment. And we want to set our budget. Now the daily budget represents the average spend over a month you actually want to spend on this AdWords campaign. Now what you want to try and do is make this a little more than what you'd normally pay, particularly to start off with because Google will actually obviously support advertisers that are willing to spend a decent amount of money with them. So I'm going to set this as $100 per day 
Now, obviously, for children's sleeping bags, I could quite easily hit that budget. But if I'm in a niche like underwater scuba diving or underwater kickboxing, more likely, you're going to find that even with a $100 budget, you're going to struggle to hit that. And we simply hit save and continue. The rest of those preferences can stay as they are. Now, the next step is to write the advert and choose the keywords that will trigger the display of that advert. Now, as mentioned earlier today in the first video, the uh, keywords and the advert you actually choose and write play a huge influence into actually the quality score, which then dictates your cost per click. So it's why I spend a bit of time writing out your advert. And I actually pause this video and uh, spend some time writing what I think could be a good advert. Uh, it's all about testing. We'll see what comes back. The first element of any good headline is um, what Brent spoke about in one of the earlier videos in the 30 Day Challenge about relevance and message to market match. You want to ensure that the headline of any advert, whether it be an advert on your blog or an AdWords advert, actually gets the person's attention. And one really cool little trick of uh, ensuring you actually get their attention and making the ad as relevant as possible is using this little keyword um, and squiggly brackets. What uh, this does is actually grabs the keyword phrase the person actually used and searched and actually places that dynamically as your advert headline. It's a really good way to actually get the whole message to market match and relevance. So to do that, all you need to do in your headline uh, box is open with a squiggly bracket, write the word keyword, colon, and then your general phrase being keep children's sleeping bags and close that all off again with a uh, squiggly bracket. So what this will do is it'll display the phrase, as I said, that the person searched. However, if that search phrase is too long to display as an AdWords advert headline, it'll default back to children's sleeping bags, whatever keyword phrase you type in there. The next two lines are the actual description lines. So you want to ensure that, again, it's going to be relevant and encourage people to actually click through on your advert. Another way to ensure relevance and getting those eyeballs is to ensure you have the actual keyword phrase again in the actual description somewhere. Not only does it actually help Google's relevance algorithm, but it also will bold the keyword phrase. So if someone types in children's sleeping bags and my ads displayed, and there actually is the phrase or keywords children's sleeping bags in the description, it actually bold those words, make the advert stand out, and again, try and help get that click through. Third element is the display URL. Now this is how the URL of your website is displayed to users on the Google results page. I always get rid of the HTTP and the www and all the other sort of rubbish that uh, is around a website and type in the address as minimalistic as possible. I use capital letters to actually ensure it's readable. So children's hyphen sleeping bags with capital C S and B will make that stand out a little bit more and hopefully make it more readable and again make it easy for someone to actually say yes, this ad is relevant to me and click on the advert. And then the final element is a destination URL. So this is the actual landing page people will go to once they click on your advert. Uh, in scenario for today, it always want, we always want it to be your website URL, just the home page of your website. And that is your advert. We're going to do one today and we'll worry about some more and doing some more tricky stuff in the next couple of days. So once we've got our advert down pat, we want to select the keywords. Now here, we want to enter in one keyword per line. Now we're only going to target our main theme keyword phrase today. Now the first element we want to type in is the exact match. So if we do a square bracket, type in your keyword phrase, children's sleeping bags and close that off. What this will do it is telling Google to only display this advert when someone types in exactly what's inside those square brackets, which is children's sleeping bags. Now I also want to target the phrase match version of this. So by doing talking marks around the keyword phrase, children's sleeping bags, what this will do, it's telling Google to display this advert whenever the keyword term children's sleeping bag is shown within the search phrase someone types in. So if someone types in blue children's sleeping bags or children's sleeping bags for winter, 
this advert will display because the phrase children's sleeping bags made up the full search phrase that the person typed into Google. And finally, from the whole latent semantic indexing element that I know Rob's touched on a couple of times, we want to search or want to request that our ad displays for broad match searches. So if we simply type in children's sleeping bags again, without any brackets or talking marks, this will show the advert when someone types in, for example, children's outdoor sleeping bags or children's sleeping outdoor bags or whatever Google thinks is somewhat relevant to the term children's sleeping bags. We can scroll in a little bit further and at the bottom here we want to set our maximum cost per click. Now this is the highest price you're willing to pay each time a user clicks on your advert. Uh, I'm going to put in 35 cents so I always make sure I put 0 0.35 if I was typed in 35, that would dictate to Google that I'm willing to pay $35, which I'm obviously not going to. I want to pay $0.35 cents per user who clicks on my advert. So if my advert's displayed and no one clicks on it, I don't pay a single thing. But if they do, and when they do, I pay $0.35 cents to Google to say thank you. Now, I'm going to save this and continue to billing. Now, what we want to do here is set up the country where my billing address is located. And as I mentioned before, I'm in Australia. And I want to select the time zone. Now I'm based in Melbourne. Uh, select whatever is relevant to you and hit continue. And then what we're going to do here is uh, put in, uh, I always suggest going um, post pay. That way you get the clicks before you have to pay. And hit continue. Otherwise, you have to actually transfer money into the account and uh, have a set fee. Uh, I'm going to select yes to the terms and conditions that Google have. Click continue. And then I'm going to put in my billing information here. Now I'm going to skip over this step. I'm going to fill out and click continue now, but I won't show you me putting in the details, otherwise uh, you'll all get my information. So uh, when you get to this step, fill out the uh, details as best you can. Hit save and activate and I will see you on the other side. Alright, so I filled in my billing information and then I simply hit the campaigns button in the menu there. So it's brought me back to this page. So going through all those processes and all those steps and putting in your billing information has activated your AdWords account. So here's the campaign we've got, children's sleeping bags. Uh, I can go to the keywords tab and it'll show me the main keywords I'm currently bidding for. Um, my, my maximum cost per click is $0.35. Cents. I can click on the Ads tab, and it displays the advert that I'm showing here, which has been approved by Google. They just do a quick um, server-based approval to ensure there's nothing uh, weird going on, that it meets the basic relevance rules for the quality score. And you're off and running. So feel free to have a bit of a play around inside AdWords. Definitely check out their help section read some of their um, basic uh, tutorials here, but don't go too crazy. We want to give it a, a day or so of traffic so then we can actually do some more refining of the campaign, which will be in the next couple of days. Uh, if you've got any questions, as always, Caro and the team and myself will be on the forums answering all your questions. And uh, please, you know, rate the videos, give some feedback and some suggestions and uh, activate and uh, participate in the forums. We'll all talk to you again soon and uh, continue on this 30-day challenge journey together. Cheers, guys.